Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for being here today. Today we're going to be making some wax melt samples. Now, I like to give out two to three, sometimes even four, depending on what's ordered. Um, samples with every order that comes through, even if it's the moon water. So even if you are shopping and you don't get anything that's candle or wax melt related, you're still gonna get one of these or a couple of these in your order. Um, right now, I only have 10 of them in stock. And so I do feel like it's time to up that. Um, I have been getting orders, thank God, all weekend. And so I, I do wanna have a few more samples on hand. Um, I have some leftover fragrance oil from the last time I made candles and wax melts. And so that's what I'm gonna be using today. Um, I did want to let you guys know I do buy these little containers off of Amazon and I will go ahead and link that in the description below. These are one ounces or one ounce rather one ounce and um, they come with little lids. I just buy the cheap little labels at Walmart or whatever and I put I just write on the, the scent and then I, I give them I give them these. Um, I was doing the two ounces. Okay, so this was a lot. This is an old one. You can tell this is from the other wax that I was using because there's frosting. Um, I keep these for myself because I won't give them out with the frosting. I just think that that just is so very um, unsightly. Um, but uh, once I switched over permanently to the Pro Blend 650, I no longer have the frosting problem. So that's what I'm going to be using today is the Pro Blend 650. Um, but I was using these two ounce containers and this was taking a lot of wax and a lot of fragrance oil um, I, I kind of have a habit of putting like I said you know two three four of these sometimes in an order and if you're putting two or three of these in an order or four that's a lot of um, wax melts for samples and so uh, it was really uh, killing me as far as the fragrance oil and the wax and so I went online and I found these little guys and these are perfect and they've been working perfectly I use them, I use just one sometimes, and one is perfect, it smells really good, it, it, it's enough to fill a room. And so um, these here, uh, I was not buying online, I was buying them at the store. Um, you can get them just about anywhere, Target, Walmart, Kroger, uh, you know, w whatever store you have around. Um, I think at Walmart I was paying $2.99 for 50 of them, uh, so you know, I definitely, I think unit price this is a little bit cheaper. So there's that, um, and as far as the fragrance oil that I'm using, um, I like I said, I do have a little bit left over um, of the fragrance oil that I made, that I bought the last time. So I have the, um, what is this one? The Black Amber and Lavender. So I'm gonna be using this, and then I'm going to be using the Downy April Fresh. I love this one, I love this one. This is such a, a clean smelling, fresh, uh, fragrance oil um, very it's not overpowering it's very mild and very subtle but very strong at the same time I have a candle going on in the kitchen right now and I can smell it from here and the kitchen just smells like fresh laundry I love it I love this one and I didn't know how I was gonna feel about this but I, I like this one a lot and then I have angelic rain which or rain and angelica which this one here I'm not that fond of uh, it's a very nice scent has a good fragrance to it but it, I don't know, it's just not what I was hoping for or expecting. Um, it's okay, uh, you know, it seems like people like it, uh, but you know, all of our scents are different. And so something that I like, you may not like and vice versa. Uh, so these are gonna be what I'm gonna be using. Now, when I buy these, I buy these in the 16 ounce containers. Um, Usually when I buy this, I can split this off and I can get about 10 clamshell wax melts and I can get about 10 of these samples and I can get about six of my uh, 14 ounce candles that I make. So I can get about six of these um, and then what I just said, the, the samples and the wax melts and um, that's what I made with this the last time and still have a little bit left over. Um, it's working for now. Uh, in, a, in a perfect world, I would love to have two of these 16 ounces and do um, a ton of wax melts and a ton of candles, but these are so expensive. These range uh, anywhere between, um, I don't know, $18 to you know $23 for 16 ounces. Um, very expensive. Uh, that varies uh, for a few dollars in, in every place that you go to, but that's on average. Um, 
but right now this is working um, you know so I have a little bit left and that's what we're gonna use now I kind of feel like wax melts are a lot easier to make than candles you don't have to worry about the wick and you don't have to worry about jar adhesion or glass adhesion or sinkholes or anything like that um, it, it just it's a simple process of heating up your your wax adding your um, candle dye if you choose to use candle dye you don't have to um, and, and pouring into your clamshell or, or whatever kind of mold that you're using um, now if you're using um, well actually if you're gonna make wax melts for yourself uh, you can get creative and you can do whatever you want now I recently um, made some wax melts just for myself and um, I used little mini muffin pans and I used the little mini muffin pan liners and I made um, I had two pans and so I made 24 of those and I did a couple of these little one ounce sample things and um, I put them in a, a big jar so this is what I made for myself um, so whenever yeah that's definitely strawberry shortcake right there so whenever I need one I can just come in here and grab one and one is perfect for whatever um, I do have like I said a couple of the bigger sample things that I made um, you know but uh, this comes in handy and uh, perfect so you can kind of get creative when you're making your own wax melts and you can put it you can use whatever mold you have around even muffin pans um, I would just recommend that you get the muffin liner so that you can peel them out otherwise you're gonna have a hard time getting them out of the pan um, so there's that but yes you don't have to worry about wicks you don't have to worry about anything like that very easy um, just to let you guys know I do use uh, Pro Blend 650 for my wax melts. I use this Cargo C3 wax for my candles. Um, with my candles, uh, I could probably with the C3 get away with using maybe seven or eight percent fragrance oil, but I do like a stronger candle, and so I do use 10% fragrance oil, and I use a 16% fragrance oil with my wax melts. Um, let me see here. Um, yeah, so uh, I wanted to go over that. I wanted to go over the percentage. What else was I going to say? Um, oh, I do want to also tell you guys that I recently put up tarot candles on my Etsy shop. And I only made seven candles because I wasn't sure how, how they were going to sell. Um, they sold out like within a week and a half. Um, I'm amazed and I'm, I'm excited and I'm happy and it just, you know, like I, I'm, I'm blown away. And so... I ended up ordering some more supplies so that I can restock those but what I did was I had um, I don't have any here to show you anymore but um, you know they're in jars like these so you're gonna get a 14 ounce candle they were all scented with Palo Santo uh, Palo Santo has been very challenging to find um, I've been looking all over the place um, uh, I'm on the waiting list from flaming candles so when they get them back in stock hopefully I can get a bottle with them at that point but um, Recently, I could not get the Palo Santo again, and so I ended up having to uh, switch over to Sage. So um, these are going to be, th these again were 14 ounce candles. And what I did was I, I actually found another um, Etsy shop owner that sells these little uh, sticker labels of tarot cards. And I'll go ahead and put that shop in the description box below too as well. Um, it really made my day that I was able to support another small business on Etsy um, and this woman does a phenomenal job on the detail, um, the imagery, the colors, everything is perfect, um, very fairly priced, quick shipping. Um, I had only ordered 12 the first time around. You can tell the ones that I chose not to use on my candles because I didn't know if anybody would want to buy a tower. Um, or judgment, um, temperance might be okay, uh, but judgment, tower, I don't know if anybody wants to buy that. Um, but I ended up going back and ordering um, another set of uh, 22, which is all of the major arcana. So more of these are on their way. Um, I've got to get some more jars. I have a few jars that I could use until I get more jars, but um, definitely uh, going to be making more of those, but they're going to be sage fragrance sage scented so there's that and then I do also have a new candle coming out um, a new jar I kind of wanted to I love this uh, large salsa jar it's one of my favorite jars I love the black lid they're a big candle they're a long lasting candle you're gonna get probably anywhere between 50 to 60 hours of this candle um, I, I don't know 
I just, I love the, I love the candle. Um, I've been doing the CD 16 in this candle and it, it works perfect. It, it, it's a very, very clean burn all the way down. I get a really good even melt pool. Um, yeah, I do get the sooting and the mushrooming, but I also print out care tips, candle care tips with each of my candle orders. And so if, you know, you do buy a candle, I am going to try to remind you to, you know, make sure that you trim the wick each time that you light the wick and not to keep your candle lit more than three to four hours at a time, which I never, I keep my lit all day long. But anyway, so I do add those care tips with the candles and uh, these are good. Um, but I wanted to switch up the jars a little bit and so I am going to be doing these cube jars. Now, please uh, excuse all of the uh, fingerprints on these, um, but uh, these will be nice and clean before I sell them, of course. But um, I think, did I get these at Candle Science or Flaming Candle? I think I got these at Candle Science. Um, so I've got a dozen of them. These are 12 ounces. Um, really, really nice candle jars. I was hesitant to buy them because they don't come with a lid. But um, I, I, I wanted to give them a try. Um, a little bit different of a look from my usual kind of rustic kind of, you know, just plain candle. And so I want it to be kind of more of a luxe candle. Um, I think I'm going to go with a clear label on this one. I'm not going to go with my brown craft label. It'll be a clear one. Um, and as far as wicks are concerned, I will insert a picture here at this point because I did wick test these already. I, I did two of them. Um, I assumed immediately right off the bat that I was, because this looks like it's about three, three and a half inches in diameter, so I did assume that it was going to have to have a double wick, and it does. Um, I tested two of these. I did two, 16, two CD16s and two CD10s. Uh, both worked fine, actually. I, I could probably go with either one. Um, the 10s worked just as well as the 16s. Uh, so I think I'm going to go with the 10s, um, just because since it is a little bit smaller, I'm hoping that it'll, it'll produce a little bit less soot and a little bit less um, mushrooming. But you could easily do both. Uh, but the tens, perfect melt pool. It took a while. It took about a good two and a half hour um, time to get that whole square um, melted. But it, it did get there and it burned all the way down really nice. So um, we'll definitely be using the uh, Candle Science CD10 six inch uh, wicks for these. So that's coming. But anyway, I am going to go and get everything set up for making these wax melt samples and then we will get started and um, and hopefully they'll turn out okay. They'll turn out okay. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna dye them yet. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. What do I got? I could have, I think I have some purple. I'd probably do black amber and lavender purple, downy April fresh. I'd probably do a light pink, rain and angelica. I could, I don't know. I could do a light green or a, maybe a teal or a turquoise or something like that. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet today, but um, I'll come back and we'll get started. All right. So I have everything written down. You can tell this is kind of old. It's seen its day, um, but. For today, um, I'm only going to do one batch because I only have um, enough of the fragrance oil for the 73 grams. So for one batch, I need 381 grams of wax and um, that will take 73 grams of fragrance oil. So and that's using the 16% fragrance or 16% fragrance load. So um, what I usually do is I turn on my um, my uh, scale and I'm gonna have to put it to uh, grams okay and then I put my pouring pitcher on top which weighs about 228 grams and then I'm gonna tear it out okay so we have zero and then I usually will grab my wax and then okay so we need 381 
I think I'm going to leave it at that, 386. So, with that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this on the double boiler. I'm not using my Presto Pot today because I'm just doing small batches. Um, I'm going to just put this on the double boiler and I'm going to heat it into about maybe 185, 190. Okay, and so I'll put it in there and I'll put my thermometer in there and then when it reaches that temperature, uh, I'll come back. Okay, so quickly, quickly I do want to measure my fragrance oil and I do my fragrance oil the exact same way that I do my wax. So for this one, I usually use my small pouring pitcher and again, I'm going to put it on my scale and I'm going to tear it out. And we need, um, what was it, 73 grams. So let me open up this. I'm sorry if the camera is so um, going all over the place here. Make sure that you can see it. Ooh, okay. Well, these are going to be extra strong, okay? So sometimes that happens. Um, right now I'm holding, I'm holding, um, I could probably pour some back actually. Um, but you know what? We're going to leave it. We're going to leave it. It's going to be a little extra strong and that's okay. Um, I like them that way. <laughs> so um, you might want to pour a little bit slower or uh, not record it as you're pouring it. Uh, that might help. But uh, for now we're going to work with uh, 94 grams of fragrance oil. So um, that's how I, but anyway, that's how I measure it. So uh, weigh your item that you're going to pour it in, tear it out, and then pour it in. And don't do like I do and go like a whole 20 grams above. Or do like I do and go 20 grams above and just have stronger smelling wax melts, I guess. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. Um, and as you see, we are not quite there yet. We're getting there. Um, I did do the amber, black amber and lavender first, and so I did decide to dye it. Um, I have my dye already ready. I usually buy chips. Um, I have not tried the liquid dye yet. Um, I usually just, um, I wish I had my little packets here. It's just some, some dye that I bought off of Amazon, and I, I like it. Uh, it dissolves really well. Um, it comes in little tiny blocks. I'll bring it back and I'll show you. But I usually just take this little guy here, my little, <laughs> whatever this is, my little machete, I don't, I don't know, my little butcher, butcher knife, and then I just dice it up a little bit so that it can uh, dissolve a little bit easier and quicker, um, and it works really well. So for what I am making, I'm making the one, the one pound or the one batch of wax melts, I used, these come in little tiny squares, I used three of those squares and I diced it up. So that's what I'm going to put into this wax as soon as it's done, and I will be back. All right, so I did want to show you the dye. Um, again, this is something that I bought off of Amazon. Very uh, small package. Uh, I did not realize it was going to be as small as it was. Um, this here is the one that I'm using. Um, like I said, it comes in those little squares. You get 12 of those in each packet. Um, it came in a variety of colors. I think I got three colors uh, that came with it. So, uh, pink. Actually, this box of the, wax uh, um, candle dye April actually dye. came in a box of 12 packets, different Blue. colors. So, not three, but 12. Red. Let's see. Oh, actually, I do have some purple chips from um, California Candle Supply. I actually prefer the ones from Amazon more than I do these because these don't tend to... Um, mix very well so what I do is I actually uh, put this in first and I will stir it until it's dissolved uh, or about a minute and then I'll add my fragrance oil and then I use my little my little timer and I stir for two minutes and I've noticed even with that good three minutes of stirring these ones don't uh, uh, mix up all the way they don't dissolve all the way so I actually prefer the um, ones from Amazon better than better than these um, I've also, let me see if I can get, okay, so this one here is a full one, so that's what it looks like. I've not used this one yet, so you're going to get 12 little squares, okay, so for this one batch, I use three. Um, I also have some of this, um, another wax that I bought off of Amazon, I like this one too, this works very well. Um, I used to have more colors, but... 
uh, that's what I'm dealing with today. So that's what I'm going to use and I will go ahead and find that off of Amazon on my orders and I will also share that as well. Alright, so um, the wax is melted and it has just reached 190 degrees so I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Um, I always take out the thermometer with a towel because it is very hot and I give that a wipe down. Um, and then I make sure that's not hot and I always give it a little wipe down on the bottom because you don't want any water around anything you don't want any water dripping inside um, so immediately I'm going to go ahead and put my chopped up candle dye in here and then I'm gonna go ahead and stir that up I use two of these metal skewers that I always use You know, this uh, this candle dye is called Violet, um, and it's more of a blue, so I'm not really sure how I'm liking this, but it is what it is. It's what it's going to be today. Melting my wax, I usually use this thermometer here, which I got at, I think it was, um, I think I got this at Walmart. Um, this one here is a digital one, and I like that because it's giving me the exact um, temperature. Um, this actually came with a starter kit, uh, a candle maker starter kit. So uh, this has lasted time and time again. It's all kind of bent and, and messed up and it's kind of been through like World War III but it still works so I'm using it still. Um, right now I'm already just with that little bit of mixing I'm already at 180 so it drops quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and we're at 180 I'm going to go ahead and pour my fragrance oil in. And then I'm going to go ahead and set my timer for two minutes. It's already set, and I'm going to start it, and then I'm going to stir. And I do this very slowly. You don't want to, you know, you're not whisking very, very hard or vigorously. It's just a nice, slow, gentle stir. already smell it already and it smells wonderful. I love it. This again is that black amber and lavender. Um, the color looks okay. It's starting to turn more purple than it is blue. so that you guys can see what's going on too as well and what it looks like. Let me see. We had a few 
more seconds. I've got the wax melted. I brought it over here. Um, I usually bring a little paper towel so I can wipe off the edge. And we're just going to pour. So that dye, even though it's violet, um, I, I don't know, it's a little bit, it's a mixture between purple and blue, but it is going to work today. And right now the temperature, I, I did not check the temperature before pouring. Um, it's probably um, 165 uh, in that range. And as you can see, one pound gave us quite a few samples. So um, this one here, um, I'm going to actually take this, I don't know if you can see on the inside, but I'm actually going to take this and I'm going to put this back in the pan and I'm going to melt that down and I'm going to uh, use the rest of this to fill up this container. Um, so, and that's also how I'm going to clean the pan. I'm going to melt it down and then I'll, I'll clean it out with uh, a little bit of rubbing alcohol. All right guys, so I ended up finishing um, the samples and I did dye them today. So I've got over there on the end, the pink ones, that is uh, the drier fresh linen, which is April Fresh Downy. Um, in the middle, it's kind of like a, a light violet color. It's the uh, amber and lavender. And then I have um, these ones here, which are a little bit, um, a little bit uh, like a darker blue. Um, and that is the angelic rain. So I got about 24 of these ones and I got 22 of those uh, uh, April Downy. Um, that'll last me for quite a while. Um, that'll stock me up on my samples. Like I said, I usually give everyone three to four. Um, in this case, these are the three cents that I have right now as well as the Cali Coffee, um, which is my chocolate latte because to me it smells just like uh, chocolate. Um, so I, I usually like to give everybody at least one of um, every sample that I have and so that's four right there So if someone does place an order chances are they're getting each one of these and they're also going to get that Cali coffee or the chocolate latte And so that's what I put in my um, my package um, So yeah, so that's how I do my wax melt samples. Um, I'm gonna put these in my box and I'm all ready um, So thank you for watching if you have any questions just comment down below and have a wonderful day